Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. KOMP 92.3's on-air personality Brandon Gooch Han performed at that comedy show held at the Prompt Nugget recently. Well, it's always good to be back here in Prompt. People are super friendly and uh, they like to drink and that's two things that I'm very fond of, so let's make it happen. Yeah, last time you played at Bender's and the show went really well. What are you expecting tonight? Uh, probably a little less rowdy of a crowd. Bender's, uh, it was fun. I mean, ben, people were just having a great time yelling stuff out, so I was having a good time jawing back and forth with them. But this looks like more of a more a little, uh, more of a comedy crowd where they're just like here to listen to you talk. You know, it's gonna be when fun. you uh, come to a venue, is that what you do? You kind of look over the crowds and do you even uh, go over some of your material, and try to tweak uh, it? I look at the crowd and I get, I kind of see. Uh, you know who I can make fun of and who's you know obviously like who's gonna come up who's gonna try you try and spot the people that are gonna speak up in the crowd that way you got a quick quip for them and they got nothing to do after that so so this is all for uh, the Papa Hope Food Bank and uh, last time you volunteered um, too for the same uh, benefit tell me what that means to you well you know anytime I could go up there and make new jokes and have people benefit from it it's always a good day for me so I got a problem with it how's it going on the station Good, great, great. Ratings are high and uh, fans are great. You know, we can't complain. Love it. You're going to be going up in just a little while uh, to perform here at the Prump Nugget. This is your first time playing at the Nugget? Yes, yes. Very, the infamous Prump Nugget. <laughs> it's the very first time being here. Can't wait. Um, for more information and all about your show, can you give us uh, contact information? What time your show's on? Uh, well, I'm on Comp 92.3, The Rock Station, uh, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7. And I'm also available on Twitter, at Your Buddy Gooch. And I got a uh, Facebook. Brandon Guchon, and we'll make, you know, and that's it. So you guys can comment. And here's Angela Miles with today's First Business Brief. This is the First Business Brief for November 22nd. I'm Angela Miles. Microsoft's new Xbox One game console hit stores today. Sony's PlayStation 4 launched last week with sales topping 1 million in 24 hours. Bank of America is fighting penalties. The Department of Justice seeks $863 million for mortgage losses Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac incurred from buying bad loans from Countrywide in 2007 to 2008. Countrywide allegedly rewarded employees for selling loans in a process called called The Hustle. Bank of America says the government could not prove losses came from the loans. B of A bought Countrywide in 2008. And it's your chance to be like Mike. Basketball star Michael Jordan will auction off his Chicagoland mansion today. The home located in Highland Park, Illinois, once held a listing of $30 million. It includes a basketball court. Time for us to bounce. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. So a couple accidents out there, and um, I'm sure they're weather-related, but at least the one, the rollover, I think, is borough-related, actually. <laughs> I do. Right. And, uh, but we did have a couple of accidents, uh, the diesel and uh, the pickup truck, and then another one that was a non-injury. And uh, it's wet out there, and there's a lot of oil on the roadways. Yeah, I suppose that when we come back from our break, we'll find out from Noah how much more of this rain we're going to be having. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Friday, November 22nd. Today we had some rain with a high of 48 degrees and an average temperature of 63 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north-northeast at 12 miles per hour with gusts up to 28 miles per hour. The UV index today is 2, which is low. Humidity is at 51%. Sunrise is at 628 this morning, and the record high in 1976 was 77 degrees. Tonight we'll have continued rain with a low of 37 degrees and an average temperature of 44 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north northeast at 13 miles per hour with gusts up to 23 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 74%. Sunset was at 4.32 p.m. And the record low in 1941 was 24 degrees. 
Tomorrow we have continued rain with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 34 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north-northeast at 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 9 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 65%. Sunrise will be at 6.29 a.m. And the UV index will be 2, which is low. For our 7-day forecast, we have a mostly cloudy week with some rain tomorrow. The sun will be coming out on Monday and Tuesday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the low 50s to the low 60s. And your low temperatures will pretty much stay in the mid-30s. Thanks so much, Noah. Well, it looks like it's going to be raining tomorrow during the powwow, but they're going to be there on Sunday as well, so please take advantage of that. And uh, once again, that grand entry is at noon on both days, so you won't miss out on it um, if you decide to go on Sunday. But uh, hopefully there might be a break in the rain. And Who knows? Maybe they can do some kind of rain dance that's not a rain dance, but to make the rain go away. Oh, it's anti-rain dance? The anti-rain dance. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but there you go. That's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Jason Cobbins. Good night. Good night.